Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Amber. This is Amber's Books and More and I know I've been gone for a very long time but I've decided I am back and I'm back with a contemporary -thon TBR. Let's jump right in. Okay, so the contemporary -a thon is my absolute favorite readathon. I love reading contemporary books during this time. I don't tend to gravitate toward contemporary any other time. So whenever I get a chance to read contemporary, I usually do really well at this readathon. So the contemporary -a thon is a readathon where you read contemporary books. The readathon runs from Monday, September 23rd at midnight, basically to Sunday, September 29th, also at midnight, whatever time zone you're in. Um, so contemporary thon has four hosts. They are Julie over at Pages and Pens, Natasha from My Reading is Odd, Chelsea Doling from Chelsea Doling Reads, and Melanie from Mel to the Eddy, um, who is also hosting, I believe, the Instagram portion of it, but she does have a booktube channel. Everyone needed will be linked down below as well as the uh, challenges and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tell you the challenge and then the book that I'm going to choose for that challenge. So I have a total of seven challenges, seven books. I don't think I'll get to seven books, to be honest. So I do have books that could fit multiple if I do need to double up sometime later. So let's jump right in and get started on what I'm going to be reading next week for contemporary -thon. The first challenge is to read a 2019 release contemporary book. Uh, and so for this, I'm going to read Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi. This is actually an ARC that I picked up while I was at BEA BookCon back in May in New York City. Um, I wanted to get to this one. I went through a reading slump recently, so I didn't get to some of the ARCs that I, per or I didn't purchase, but that I got while I was there. Um, and I've heard really good things about this. So um, this one came out in September, I believe at the beginning of September. Um, so this is going to be my 2019 release. The second challenge is to read a book with yellow on the cover. And for that, I have chosen An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. This was one of my Book of the Month Club picks. And I did read their book that they had uh, put out called The Wife Between Us. And I did enjoy it. It wasn't like the best thriller I've ever read, but it was enjoyable. So I've decided with this bright yellow on here to pick this up. Um, and hopefully I will love this one as well. Well, not love, but at least like it. Um, I do have an audiobook from my library for this one. So I'll probably be listening to this one and following along in the book as well. So the third challenge is to read a diverse contemporary, which is always one of the challenges, which I love to read outside of my own experiences. Uh, for that, I'm going to pick another one that was an arc that I picked up at BEA and BookCon, uh, which so it could also go for 2019 release if need be. But it is Look Both Ways by Jason Reynolds. Um, this is his first book that is a, as far as I know, that is not told in verse. Um, and it's a middle grade book about um, like a school bus that falls from the sky and it has like all these different characters. And I'm excited to get to this one. It's fairly short. So it's great for readathon and it's an arc um, that I believe comes out. Yeah, it comes out in October. So it hasn't technically come out yet, but I am excited to get to this one because I have enjoyed every book that I've read by Jason Reynolds so far. The fourth challenge is to read a book with an illustrated cover. And when I saw this challenge, I knew immediately what I wanted to read because I've been meaning to get to this book. It is super hyped on booktube and I've just wanted to read it so much. Uh, and that is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I'm sure you've already heard about this, but if you haven't, it's basically about the first son of an American president, which is a woman, and they are Hispanic, and or I believe he's half Hispanic. And then he basically has a tiff with the Prince of England, which is supposed to be kind of like Prince Harry, I believe. Um, but then they have this like hate to love male male romance and I've heard so many good things about this so I'm really excited to get to this one and it's just the cutest illustrated cover and I love that it, it's an adult like rom com -y type book. I just love those. The fifth challenge is to read a dark or hard-hitting contemporary. 
Um, I was going to pick hard hitting, but I decided, but I do have another book coming up later that could fit that hard hitting category. But instead I decided to go for the dark. Um, and that one is going to be One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. Um, so basically this is like The Breakfast Club meets Pretty Little Liars and Gossip Girl, kind of. Um, so it's about a group of kids that are in detention together and then one of them suddenly is murdered, comes up dead, and they're all suspects because they were all in the room with them when it happened. So I'm excited to get to this one. I did start it and I was enjoying it. I just, I started a reading slump and it was a little hard to get out of. Uh, but I do have the audiobook for this one as well through my library. So I do plan on listening to that one and hopefully splitting up the reading physically and the listening will hopefully pull me out of this reading slump a little bit. I'm hoping at least. The sixth challenge is to read a book with plants on the cover, which I love because we've never actually done anything like this before. Like we've done colors and such, but I love that it's plants. And that made me look at my books a little differently. Like where are the plants, you know? Uh, but for that one, I went ahead and picked one that was gifted to me by a lovely friend, uh, Rosie over at Red Door Reader. I'll leave her link down below as well. Uh, but that is Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. This is one of her favorite books and so she gifted this to me and also to Julie from Pages and Pens, which we are going to be buddy reading this during the readathon. Um, as you can see, there's tons of leaves all over this and it's just got this very fall vibe to it. I have no idea what it's about and I prefer to not go in and have expectations since it is a friend's favorite. Um, but it is beautiful. I love the colors. I love the tree stuff. It's just, I'm excited to get to this one. Um, hopefully I am able to actually get to this one next week. The seventh and final challenge is to read a book that is like a favorite of one of the book communities or beloved by the book community. Uh, so for that one, I actually wanted to read one that I have promised someone that I would get to a hundred times. And that is Julie from Pages and Pens. If you didn't know, me and her are really good friends. We're also writing buddies. So um, I've promised her I'd get to this one a few times and I know I'll love it, but it's hard hitting and it's going to make me cry and I haven't really been prepared for that, but I am prepared for that now. Um, and that is The Weight of the Stars by Kay Ingram. I cannot wait to get to this. It's about a girl whose mother, when she was first like born, had decided to take a one-way trip to Mars, I believe, and had no intention of coming back. And this is kind of how she's dealing with that as she's now a teenager. And um, I've seen video of Julie's book, like warped in tears. And I needed to wait to a, until a time that I wanted a good cry. That time has come. I'm ready to cry for this book. This is going to be, without a doubt, the first book I pick up for this readathon. So you will see me read this one 100%, I promise. Okay, so that completes my Contemporary Thon 2019. I believe they're on round five. I don't know. But that completes my TBR. Um, I am planning on doing a one week long vlog now that I have, um, in case you haven't noticed, like a new camera. Um, it's actually by phone, but since now phones have such good cameras and good quality, I decided I have no excuse to make videos. So here I am making videos. I'm going to do a week long vlog, um, as long as all, as always, as well as posting other videos. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day wherever you are. I'll see you next time. I love you. Bye.